and welcome to your Total Tone 10 Minute Body Dome Workout. Before we get started, first I want to congratulate you on the first step to getting the body you want. I want to remind you of a couple things. Just make sure you have some water alongside you to replenish your fluids and make sure you have a, if you're on hardwood floors and you don't have a yoga mat, just put a towel down so you don't move around too much. We're going to start with a nice warm up and I just want you to stand up, take a nice deep breath over your head, legs or shoulders width apart and release. Bend your knees, nice deep breath and release. Good. Now just take that arm up over your head and a light bend to the side. Just hold it there, don't bounce. It's called the static stretch. You just want to hold it nice. Warming up those muscles, take it to the other side. Good. All right, bring it down, and we're just going to do shoulder rolls, rolls to the back. Both up and back. I know that feels really good. We're going to be working those shoulders today, so we want to make sure they're nice and loose. Get the blood flowing. Good job. Two more. Last one, right on. We're going to take that forward now. Just for four here. Very good. Last one. Now I just want to take your arms out to the side. We'll, we are going to be working our chest. And I just want you to hunch in and wrap your arms around. Give yourself a, yourself a big hug. And release it. Stretch out. And one more time. And out. All right, we're going to just sit right down on our body dome, believe it or not. We're going to tone our body, elongate our muscles, strengthen and tone them. We're going to be sitting down. We're going to use our little magical resistance cords here. Your shorter ones give you a deeper range of motion. They're a little more difficult. Your longer ones will give you more free range. You start with your long ones if you like. Whatever you feel is comfortable for you, your body will definitely talk to you. We're going to start with a chest press. We're going to scoot down our butt towards the floor, and we're going to use the body dome as a cradle for our back. You're going to feel those uh, raised bumps starting to massage your back, which is real nice. Now, if you want to go even further, you can. You can rest your head. It is absolutely preference to you. You can rest your head here, or you can bring it back for a little more range of motion. And we're going to do 10 chest presses. And all you do is bring your arms up, together, and down. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Now you'll notice your abs are in tight, your lower back is being protected, and I think you'll notice your legs are starting to feel it as your legs are shoulders width apart. You're working your quadriceps as well. But we are working our chest right now also. We have five more. Four, good job. Three, two, last one. Now we're going to flow pretty freely through this workout. If you need to pause at any time, you can. Just join back up with us whenever you feel like it. All right, now we're going to take our long resistance cords. We're going to sit up nice and straight. We're going to use our core muscles here, abdominals and our lower back, but we're going to concentrate on our shoulders. We're going to do a shoulder press for those sleeveless and tank tops here. You're just pressing right up over your head. You want to keep your shoulders down and your arms up over your head. Bring them down just like that. Good. Breathing evenly. And make sure your abs are in tight. Four. Good job. Five. You can count along with me. That's okay. Six. And seven. I'm your own little personal trainer there today. I'm going to keep reminding you a couple of little points along the way. Keep that head in alignment. Nine and 10. Good job. All right. We are moving on. We did chest, shoulders. We're moving on to the tricep there. We want a nice toned tricep so that we don't wave and our arm keeps waving. You know that old saying. I know you do. We're going to do a tricep dip. I want you to scoot your feet out. Now, the range of motion, you can bring them in closer. That's making the exercise easier. Or you can take them out a little further. Again, arms or shoulders width apart. You're just bending down and up just like that. Your elbows are thinking of shooting right back behind you straight. Keep them in. Good. Abs in tight. Four. Five. Good job. Five more. Come on. Count with me. Six. Seven. I'm telling you right now, you're going to love your body after this. You're going to feel great. It's not always the best feeling while we're doing it, but when we're done, the effects and the look is exactly what you want. Good job. Last one. 
and scoot back. I'm going to give you a second here. Just bring your arms around. Give yourself a big hug because you are doing a great job. Hang in there with me. All right, open up now. We do chest, shoulders, tries. We're going to go to our back. Right here, I want you to scoot behind your body dome here. Now, you might not have done this actual exercise, but I know you're going to be familiar with this movement because I'm sure everybody has lifted a grocery bag or two along the way. I just want you to stick your, your foot up on the middle of the body dome, support your lower back, arch it a little bit so your, your lower back is supported. Hand goes right above that knee. Lower, uh, small resistant cord. And I want you to pick it up. Keep your arm close to the side of your body, just like that. Now you'll notice I am twisting my arm. It's called supinating. You don't have to do that. So you know what? I won't do it either. Right on. We're on. Seven. There you go. Eight. Now I know all these movements are familiar to you because we do them every day. We just don't realize what muscles we're working. Last one. Now we want nice symmetry. We have to do the other side. That's what we don't do every day. We don't think that we should pick that grocery bag up on the other side. Two, you'll notice I look pretty relaxed. I have my elbow resting, whatever's comfortable for you. Good, this is five, five more. Now, just because we're working our back doesn't mean that our legs aren't still working. We have that leg up there on the body dome. Quadricep is tight, working for us. There you go, one more. Right on. We are moving on to biceps. We love these. You pick up your children. You pick up your books for school. You're going to know what you're working. We're working our biceps. Grab the smaller resistance cords again. If you don't want to do a lot of resistance, take the larger ones. And we're just keeping our elbows close to our body. Lift it up and down. Good. You'll notice you will start breathing a little heavier as you're uh, burning more calories. That's a good thing. Hang in there with me. We are more than halfway done. Seven, eight, that's it, nine, last one, 10. There you go, your upper body's done. Now we're gonna switch our body dome to face. So the cords are facing you straight ahead. We're gonna do some leg exercises now. We're gonna define those quadriceps. We're going to put the smaller resistant cord around our foot, secure it nice there so it's comfortable for you. And just keep your legs, shoulders width apart. Use your knee as a hinge. Just bend at the knee, just like that. Extend it out. Three and four. Good job. We want to keep our repetitions at 10 right now. As you get more advanced, lower body, move them up to 15. Upper body, 12. I think. Seven, eight, nine, good job. 10, there we go. Your other leg, just switch the cord, that easy. Don't have to get up or anything, just lean back, relax, keep those abs in tight, and extend that foot out. Three, good job. Four, five, you can look down, make sure your abs are in tight. Seven, eight, nine and ten i love it you are almost there we're going to do our hamstrings now whether it's bikini weather or not we have to remember as we leave someone might be looking at us still attach the longer resistance cord onto the heel of your foot we're going to now lay down can't get a better exercise than this we're laying down relaxing and just extend that foot straight out keep it Flex and press it up to the ceiling and down. It's a small, minimal movement, but you will definitely feel it right here. Your buttocks. Good job. Your hamstrings are working too. And four, five, six. That's it. Seven, it's okay if you add a little couple reps in there. Eight, just make sure you do on the other side too. There you go, last one. Hold it up there for a little bit of isolation. Good job, release it. And now just press back and switch your resistance cord. And let's take it to the other side. And right back down, extend it and lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Good job. Now we're just going to press it back here for a second. I want you to do a couple ab crunches for me. I want you to bring yourself around, scoot your butt down to the base of the body dome, and just crunch up and down. Good job. Two. Let's get ten quick ones in here. Let's isolate those abs. Three. Four. Good job. Five. Six. Abs in tight. Breathing, exhaling on the way up, inhaling on the way down. Last one. Hold it up there. Good job. Now I just want you to rest down at the base of your body dome. Give yourself a nice big hug. Stretch your legs out. And just twist a little bit. Flex your feet. And bring your arms around. We don't want to stretch too much. You don't want to pull any of those muscles, but you do want to feel a little tension in those muscles. Just walk your fingers out. Try to grab your feet if you can. And nice flat back. Good. Bring your feet in. You can sit Indian pose right like this. And now just bring your arms around. And release. And round. Release. See? Wasn't that bad. There you go. You did it. You got through the total tone 10-minute workout. Thanks again. Stay healthy. All right, you ready for some awesome abs? I am. I'm Kathy Derry. I want to remind you of a couple things. Just make sure you have some water alongside you to replenish your fluids. And make sure you have a, if you're on hardwood floors and you don't have a yoga mat, just put a towel down so you don't move around too much. And we're going to get started with a quick warm up right here. We're going to just take our arms up over our head, sitting in the middle of the body dome. Just breathe up over your head and release. And up over your head. And release, just let's get that blood flowing. Now let's just twist it a little bit. Take your arms on the side of your leg and not too much. Just twist those obliques because we're hitting upper, lower, and obliques. Now just to the other side, arms around and looking over your shoulder. Great. Now just take your arms back behind your head, uh, behind your back, and contract and open it up and contract. And open it up. Good job. We're ready to get started. Place your hands on the body dome and just scoot your butt down. If you need more support, butt goes on the floor. But we want to keep a lot of concentration. We're going to move pretty quickly through this abdominal workout because we want awesome abs. If you need to rest, pause the tape and just join back up with us. We're starting upper abs, hands behind the head. You can position, position them behind your head, across your chest, or reaching out, whatever you feel comfortable with. Hands are behind my head. Don't pull your neck. Uh, chin is straight up to the ceiling. Basic crunch. Ten. Lift it up and down. Good job. Exhaling as we go up. Inhaling on the way down. Three. Four. Good job. Five. Six. Seven. Don't be afraid to count with me. We want to know you're breathing. Nine. Last one. Good. And we're moving right along. Now we're going to do a little bit more advanced version. We want to extend that leg out. Support the other one, keeping it bent, straight forward. And we're doing a basic crunch and just bring your knee up to your chest. Ready? On one. There you go. Two. Three. Now don't curl your head into your knee. Your head is still positioned straight up to the ceiling. And you'll notice your abs are isolated. Six. Good job. Seven. Eight. Two more. All right, other leg, place that one down, extend it out, and in, two, three, four, come on, you can do it, five, I know this is a little more advanced, but we want a fierce six pack, nine, good, last one, ten, all right, we're going right over to the lovely obliques, right onto your side, couple versions. You could do an advanced version or a beginner's version. Doug will be doing the advanced. I will be doing the beginner. I'm resting my elbow on the floor. Hand goes behind the head. And all you're doing is I'm keeping my hand on the floor and raising it up and down. Perfect. Two. Three. Good job. Four. Abs in. Five. All right. We're going to turn around and do the other side. I'm going to check to make sure that everybody's form is good. Yours and Doug's as well. Just to remind you, Doug is doing the advanced version. Give it a try if you can. We want to get rid of those love handles and obliques. Good. He's smiling. It must be working. Three, 
four, five. Excellent. All right, now we are going to the lovely lower abdominal section. Women, we definitely concentrate on this area. It's what we call our pooch. We want to get rid of that. We're going to sit right up on top of the body dome. We're going to do a basic bicycle move. I'm going to place my hands on the back of the floor there. And keep your abs in, leg extended, and just bring it opposite leg. Just like that, pumping it, just like riding a bicycle. Five, six, seven, there you go. Eight, nine, ten. Good. Now bring them in. Now we're going to do a little bit more advanced version. Again, if you want to do it real hard, put your hands on the body dome. If not, hands are on the floor. We're going to bring our knees in and extend it out. In and out, just like that. You're noticing your chest comes into your knee, but I'm never tucking my head in. Five, six, seven, eight. That's it. Come on, nine. One more. Now, skiing, obliques. We're going to twist our hips a little bit to the side, bring it in and out, switch it to the other side. Two. Oh, yeah. Three. Now we are hitting every area of our abs right here. It's okay. If you're breathing heavy, that's good. Your abs are getting a great workout. Seven. Eight. Skiers, you're familiar with this move. Nine. Last one. Come on, make this one count. Ten. All right. Good job. Now, we are going to add resistance. We're going to switch and turn our body dome so that your resistance cords are facing front and back. We have a short resistance cord and a long resistance cord. I will be using the long one. It's not as advanced, advanced, less range of motion. Doug will be using the short one. You just place both hands on the handle and you're doing a basic crunch. Just use the resistance and bring it up just like this. Exhale and back. Getting a great stretch in your lower back as well. We're elongating those abs, but we're also adding resistance. That'll help define that six pack that you're looking for. Or just give you nice flat abs. Eight, nine, and 10. Hold it up there for a second. Feel that concentration on that abdominal region right there. Good job. And release. All right, we're not done yet. We're gonna add the legs. We're gonna bring one knee in and extend it out with the resistance cords. Again, if this is too much, just drop the resistance cord, do the same movement. Ready? And bring it in and out. Two, three, four, good job. Five, six, count with me so I know you're breathing. Feed oxygen to those muscles. Nine, last one. All right, other leg, extend it out, bring it in and out. Keep your form good. If you need to slow the exercise down, you can. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, excellent. We're gonna do an exercise for the lower back because you wanna be careful. You don't wanna strengthen your abdominal region too much so that you injure your lower back. It's your opposing muscle, support it. It's real important to strengthen that as well. So, we're going to come down. I'm going to check on uh, Doug and on you. Make sure that you do this properly. It's called the Superman pose. So we can feel like a superhero after that awesome ab workout. You're going to extend one arm and one leg and hold it up there just like that. Opposite arm, opposite leg. You flex the foot. You're going to feel all the areas concentrated right here on your lower back. And it should feel nice and a little tight. You're working it. It's toned. It's tight. It's supporting you. So you can walk nice and tall and opposite leg. Good job, flex the foot. His head is in alignment with his spine, real important. And the body dome, the best thing about this is that it's actually supporting your whole body for you rather than doing it on the floor. Good job, release it. Okay, now I just want you to come back here and give yourself a nice little stretch. We're gonna just put, push back on your body dome, arms are on it, and just come into a child's pose, as we like to call that. All right, and just come forward and just stretch out those abs a little bit. This is how we talk about lengthening and stretching those muscles. Good job. And just stretch back again. Good job. There you go. You have your awesome abs. If you didn't find that challenging enough, add more repetitions. 
Abs are a large muscle. They don't need as much recuperation time. You can do them every day if you want. Also, if you're looking for a total body workout, try Kendall's Cardio Dome to burn fat and then do your total tone tape with the resistance band so you'll have that beautiful sculpted fat burning body like you always wanted. Thanks again for joining us with the Body Dome. Stay healthy. Hi everybody, welcome to the Body Dome Cardio Workout. Now don't forget, make sure you take care of yourself. Consult a physician before working out, drink plenty of water, and work at your pace. If you feel a little heavier or something, a little dizzy, slow down, take a break, just work at your pace. It's your workout. You ready to do this? Let's do it. How you guys doing? Let's march it out, all right? Ready? Good, okay, nice and easy. Nice march, get those knees, start that blood to pumping through the body, warm you up a little bit. March out a little wider here. There you go. Four more. Just four, three, two. Come back close again. Back close. Last time, guys. Take it out wide. I want you to go out wide. Take four, three. Take a deep breath. Inhale up here. Just up. And exhale. One more time. Inhale up. And as you exhale this time, put your hands on your quadriceps. Take your lower back down. Keep your abs nice and tight. And push up from here. Press up. Down. There you go. Stretching right through your back. Two more. Last one. Roll it up real slow this time. Real slow. Four, three, both shoulders to the ceiling. Lift. Eight. There you go. Six. Four more. Four, three. Alternate right, left. Just lift. Up. Good. Can we add a little toe with it? Just toe. Just toe. Looking good. Four more. Four, three, two. Reach up. Ah. Stretching right through your lat. Four more. Four. Three, go right across your chest. Reach out. Good, good job. Four more. Four, three, make it a bicep curl. Give me four more of these. Take four, three, step touch right here. Just step. Good, four more. Four, three, march it out right here. Now come close to your body dome. Don't be afraid of it. It's all right. Four, three, tap it. Right here, little tap. Pop. Just got your toe touching your dome. Good. Four, three, two more. Two. Make it a hill this time. Big hill. Sit down. Four more. Four, three, go back to the toe tap. Add a little arm. Push up. Four more. There's four, three, back to your heel. Good, really sit in and get deep. Four more, four, three, two more, two. March it out right here, easy march. You okay? Good, march out wider. Last time, come back tight. Four, three, now put your heel right on top of your body dome. Let's go for a stretch. It sits up here, now you sit back, keep your chin up. Is that hamstring stretch right here, the back of your leg. Hold it here, don't bounce. Good. Now step back with this leg. Let's switch legs this time. Go over to the opposite leg. Sit back again, keep a slight bend of your knee, chin up. Good, hold it right there. Ready to work, right? Come back. Switch legs again. This time your foot firmly plants on the top of the body dome. Come back and just sit right here. Nice and tall, breathe. One more time, inhale. Just breathe out. Let's switch legs. Over again, same thing. Firmly plant it. Sit in it. Good. You ready to start? We're gonna go for it. Now come back. Sit up nice and tall. Last time, inhale up. Exhale out. March it out right here. Let's go. Now don't be afraid. I want you to stay close to your body dome. We're gonna come up for easy four marches and four down on the floor, okay? Four, three, two, here's four. Four, three, two, one. Good. Do it one more time, guys. Last time, now stay on the floor. Good, stay here. Four, three, here's a step knee. Step knee. 
sit up nice and tall, chest lifted. Your foot's firmly planted. Try to get right in the center of the dome, right there. Up, knee. Up, knee. Step, knee. Two more. Now start adding direction. Move over here. There you go, to the other side. Two more. Go to a repeater three times. Again. Good, keep switching sides each time. One, two, three. Big smile, having fun, right? Keep switching. Bop, bop, bop. One, two, three. One, two, three. Last time. Back to single, single. Good work. Four more. Three, two, march it out right here. Cool, you okay? So you got your single knees, you got your repeater knees. Same thing now, we're gonna boost the cardio level even higher by adding kicks out to the side instead. So now we go to big step kick, all right? On the count of four guys, listen up. We got four, three, two, step kick. Step, kick, and open up, just like that. Up, out, up, out. Good. Up. Get your foot nicely planted, stepping up into the nice soft surface, just absorbing all the shock. It's not going to your knees or your lower back. Good, four more. Four, three, two, guess what? Repeat three, here we go. One, two, three, good. One, two, three, two more sets. Up, 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 last time. One, two, back to singles, just one. If you start to get winded, make this knee a little knee instead of a kick. Or you can make a little tap. If you feel a little winded, just tap. Tap. If you want to stay there, keep the kick. Keep the cardio level high. Four more. Four. Three. Two. We're all going to make it a tap. Just a little tap. Pop. Pop. Good. Four. Three. Two. One more. March on the floor, you're doing good. Okay? Thumbs up. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. I want you to come around here to this side of your body dome. Good, four more. Four, three, two, hold your march here. We're gonna do a basic move called an up, tap, down, tap. I'll demonstrate it for you first. Just gonna go up, tap, down, tap. That's all we need to get us there, all right? Let's march it out here. On the count of four here, we got four, Three, up tap, down tap. Go, up tap. Nice easy pull of the arms, up. Now we do whatever we do on this side, we have to do on the opposite side of the body dome. So eventually we're gonna get you guys to the other side, all right? Four more. Four, three, two, go over the top. Now stay here, but keep that tap. There you go on this side, there you go. Up, nice and big. Up, four more. Four, three, two, over the top again. Keep your tap. Good, now let's make it a little bigger. Instead of the tap, make it a knee. Knee, knee. Four, three, two, over the top. Get the knee up. Knee, knee, good, four, Three, two, over the top. Where's your knee? Yeah, come on with it. <laughs> two more, now sit of the knee. Knee, kick, knee, kick. Four, three, two, one more. Over the top, same knee kick. Good job, Tanya. Up, up, up. Last time, over the top. Yeah, just the knee. Good. Nice and easy, two more. Last one. Back to your tap, just tap. Up, tap, up, tap, good. Last one, march it out right here. How you doing there? You guys cool? Yeah. Let's come back here. All right, I want you to hold it here. Nice and easy. We're going for some little basic squats. We're gonna squat out right, 
come back center, squat left, all right? Four, three, two, squat right. You're gonna go down in the center. There you go. Sit down, stand up. Nice, easy pace. So reach, together, down, together. Four, three, two, last one. Stay in the center, hold it here, and press, and press. There you go, reach, nice and easy. Down, up, down, up. Four more, three, two more, two, last one. March it out right here. Same thing guys, we're gonna take a squat, we're gonna go to center, come back up, put it all together, all right? Four, three, two, squat out. One, two, now squat here. Now go here. Now squat here. Now go there, there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down, two, three, four. Good work, keep your chin up. Smile, keep breathing. There you go, you're almost there. Four more, four. Three more sets, three. Last two, two. One more, good. Now stay here guys, march it out, nice and easy. Now we're gonna take those entire moves. You're working up a sweat now? You better be. We're gonna come on top and try to do the same thing, the same squats off the side, squats off the side. Just step on top for me. So up here on top, same thing. I want you to keep your pace, squat down, come up. Squat down, come up. Four, three, two, let's squat. Down, up, down, up. Look good, right there, real small. Don't have to step out too wide. Just easy down, back up. Easy down, back up. Good, good. You there? All right. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four more. Three, last two, one more. Now stay on top and just stand here. Easy, get a little movement, get a little bounce. Remember the squat we did? Hold it steady. Balance yourself nice and easy. We're gonna just go down, up. Don't try to go too deep yet. Down, up. Sit down, stand up. Right away you start moving to try to stabilize yourself. Good. Four more. Three, two, one. Hold it here. Can we go back to the squats? On the count of four, okay? Four, three, two, let's squat. Down. Switch sides, and go. Boom, up, down. Eight, seven, six, five. You're hanging in there, four more. Four, three, two, one more. Stay on the top, give me a little squat. Small, small, yeah. Right there, right there. Four more, just four, three, Two, last one. Step back off your body dome. Yeah, you feel it, right? March it out, let's keep going. Right there. Coming back to our basic that we did in the beginning. Back to up knee, down knee, okay? Four, three, two, step knee, let's go. Hup. Once again, edge your direction. Now what we're gonna do, once you're comfortable with this once again, we're gonna go back to repeaters and put a little propulsion on the last repeater. We'll show you what we're talking about. Two more. Last one. Repeat three. One, two, hop. Yeah. One, two, hop. It doesn't have to be big. Knee, knee, lift. There you go. Knee, knee, lift. Two more times. One, two, three, up. Last time. Back to singles. How'd you do? Yeah. Four more. Four. Three. Two. March right here. Very, very good. So that propulsion gives you an extra little burst of energy. You got the absorption coming right here from the body dome, so don't worry about hurting yourself, all right? Now we're gonna take the same thing, hamstring curls, working the whole lower body, all right? Here we go. Four, three, two, step curl. Back. The chest is up high, lift up, lift up, lift. Good, four more, 
four, three, two, repeat three. Let's go. One, two, three. I bet one of them went for that big propulsion back there, didn't they? Yeah, one, two, woo. Curl, curl. You don't have to, that's your option on that. If you don't want the lift, don't take it. Two more. Hup, hup, hup. Last one. Singles. Woo. Last one, guys. One more. March right here. All right. So let's put together everything we learned. We got the knee, we got the side kick, we got the hamstring curl. Let's put them together for our last repeater, all right? So we're gonna do that super repeater. You catch on when you get it, all right? Here we go. Four, three, knee kick curl. So you're gonna go knee, kick, curl. Good. Knee, kick, curl. Nice and tall. Knee, kick, curl. Look good. Hup, out, back. Got it? Up, out, back. Yeah. Let's do it again. Knee, kick, curl. Again, up. Last time, one on each side. Knee, kick, curl. Last time. Let's make them single knees, single knees. Back to what you know, right there. Look good, keep up, keep smiling, keep breathing, keep working. Stay on the dome, let's go. Four more, four, three, Two, march it out right here. Let's march it. March out a little wider. Four, three, just squat for me right here again. Down, up. Good, good. Four more, nice and tall. Three, lift that chest up. Two more. Last one, march it right here. Easy march. We're gonna take lunges. Let me show you real quick. We're gonna lunge on the top, come back. Lunge left, come back, all right? Four. Three, two, here's your lunge. Lunge, right off your ball, right there, right there. Dome, down, get in the center, push back, down, back. Four more, three, two more. Last one, march it out again, guys, right there. So, last thing, put it together. Squat right, you squat left, you lunge right, you lunge left, you got it, right? All right, four, three, two, let's squat. Down, together. Where's that lunge? Right here, boom. Let's squat. Down, over, put it up here. Very good. Do it again, help, help. Oh yeah, those two back there, they're working it out, right? Come on, Tanya and Doug, let's go. Squat, together. Let's lunge it. You're almost there. You're almost there. One more set. Come on. Down, together, down. Last time. Get back here. Give me those little squats. Sit right here in the center. Sit down. Stand up. Sit down. Stand up. Ah. Ah, the better you get, the more you do your tape. You'll be able to squat lower, get deeper. Right there. Four more. Three. Two more. Last one. March it out, right here, easy march. Woo, yeah, we're working it out now. All right, guys, nice and easy. Let's talk about a cool down. Let's start bringing our heart rate down a little bit. All right, four, three, march out wide again, march out. Four, three, last time, squat down, easy squat, down. The thing about your squat, sit down through your hips, come back up, sit down. Don't let your knees go forward. If you're looking at me from the side, think about turning back. So you're here, down, up, down. That's the difference between doing this, bring your knees forward, those knees stay in place right there. Four more, three, two more. Last one, take a deep breath, guys. Inhale up. Exhale out. One more time up. Bring it down. Bring your right foot again. Just drop it right here on top of the ball. Sit back, right on your dome. Hold it here. Nice and easy. You remember from the warm-up, right? Step back. Same thing. Left foot comes on your dome. Sit back. Very, very good. Hold it here. 
Good step back. Let both feet come together. Take a deep breath. Inhale up. Exhale out. One more time, guys. Inhale up. Exhale out. Try your tape. Try to do it three times a week. You'll get it. You'll get better. You'll master it. You'll see fat burning in no time. The body dome can make it happen. Good job. Give yourself a big old hand. Good work. Good work. Hi, my name is Steve Wheelock, and I'm here to take you through the core conditioning video. I'm here with Tanya, and today we're going to give you a workout. This workout is going to flow right along. We're going to try to go straight through. I'd like you to try to continue through the exercises without a break. The idea is we want to stabilize and work the core of our body. Now, when I say core, I'm talking about the postural muscles, abdominal, lower back, our torso. We want to try to isolate that area and work to our outer our, our part of our body. Now, as we go along, a couple rules of thumb I'd like you to try to work off of. Basis support, the wider your basis support, the more stable you are. So for those of you that are just getting started with the body dome system, that's where you're probably going to feel comfortable with. For those of you, on the other hand, are a little bit more advanced with it, I'm going to encourage you to bring your feet a little bit closer together. That will make you work a little harder, make the body a little bit more active. I will try to show modifications. One level is easier, the next level may be a little bit more challenging. So let's get started. What I'd like you to do is first find your center point of your body dome. And you might have to play around with the positioning just a little bit. I'd like you to sit up nice and tall and think about staying lifted through the chest and shoulders, shoulders relaxed down. Now take a full breath in, take a deep breath. Exhale, let the shoulders relax down. Now I'd like you to just lift one leg up off the ground and notice what happened to your body. You probably felt a little movement through your upper body. Let's set that down. Let's do that to the opposite side. Lift the leg, set it back down. So for those of you that are just getting started, started with our body dome system, this is where we'd like you to start. Just alternating knee lift up and release back down. Kind of get a familiarity of your body dome. Now what I'm going to ask you to do, my more advanced people, sit back just a little bit. Lift one leg up, lift the other leg up, and hold the position. And notice almost immediately your body becomes active. For your abdominals, now another important component that I'd like to put into this is lever lengths. I'm going to stay in a more advanced position. I'm going to start to extend my legs out. Whereas Tanya's staying in more of a bent knee style position, which is a little bit easier of modification. Again, the recruitment of the muscles is much more intense because the lever length out in front is much more. Let's walk it back in. Set the feet back down. Now you can do repetitions of that or start out with maybe a 10 second or 30 second hold. Whatever feels most comfortable for you. Now let's continue on down the body. I'm going to work into the abdominals a little bit more. I'd like you to walk yourself out. Now, it may take a couple movements to kind of position yourself on your body dome, but what I'm looking for is I'd like you to have the head, neck, and shoulders supported onto the ball. I'm going to take you into a bridge exercise. Arms comfortably down to the side. Again, chest and shoulders are relaxed and open. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, just gently lift the hips up off the ground. Try to squeeze the knees together. Body's one flat position. So once again, for those of you that are just getting started out, maybe you're going to hold here for five or ten seconds. For those of you a little bit more advanced, I'm going to encourage you to hold for a little bit longer period of time. Let's sit it back down. Again, breath in. Exhale, lift back up. Now once again, I'm going to show a little bit more advanced version while Tanya still holds in the intermediate beginner level version. I'm going to extend one leg out in front. So what I've done here is I've decreased the base of support and notice that my body becomes more active. So I would encourage you to alternate each side. One leg up, hold for a little bit, and let it release back down. Slowly let yourself roll back down to a seated position. Now, let's isolate the abdominal a little bit more. I'm going to have you scoot back up, move your mid back onto the body dome, hands back behind the head, and we're going to go into our basic abdominal curl, but I'm going to make it a little bit more intense. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to ask you to plank the body out. When I say plank out, I would like the body to stay in a flat lever length, like one big plank. Now again, for those of you that need to modify, bend the knees, make the lever length a little shorter. Hands behind the head, let's exhale, curl up. Let's try for 12 of these. Slowly release down. Try to keep those hips off the ground, exhale. Feel that center line working. Curl. Again, keep the chest and shoulders open, lift to the ceiling. Last eight repetitions. Come on, I know you can do it. Exhale, here's eight. Here's seven. 
Now again, for those of you that want to make it more advanced, longer lever lengths will make it a little bit more challenging. So you can modify as you go along. Last four repetitions. Here's four. Exhale. Three. Let it release down. Two. One more time. Exhale. Curl up. Hold, hold, hold that body up. Let the arms just relax down. Drop the hips down. And let yourself just fall over the ball. Open through the chest and shoulders. Good. Round it back up. Now the next movement I'm going to take you into, again, is going to be a little bit more of an advanced position. Now when I say advanced position, I want to think about long lever lengths. I'm going to ask you to walk out just a little bit more. This time I'm going to have you interlace your hands together underneath your body. Lift yourself up as high as you can. Hold that position. Your body should stay solid. Now I'd like you to just gently draw one leg off the ground and hold. You should feel your hamstrings, your glutes, your abdominals, your lower back being activated. What, you want to hold for five seconds more? That's it, a little challenge. Let's release it down, switch sides. Same thing, lift up, hold, keep the hips up there. Breathe, breathe. Two more seconds. Good, gently let it release back down. Let the body relax down, set it back to the floor. Now, for those of you that haven't worked with the body dome system before or are just getting started again, that might have felt fairly intense. Modified positions, when I say modified position, shorter lever lengths. It's very possible to do that same type of activity bent knee style like we were just demonstrating. Let's roll it back down. Now I'm going to move on to some side work. I'm going to ask you to scoot off to one side or the other of your body dome. And I'm going to give two versions of this exercise. Again, I'll demonstrate the little bit more advanced one while Tanya will demonstrate the little bit easier one. The easier version, bent knee style, hand on your hip. I'd like you to lift yourself up off the ground and we're going to hold here for about 10 seconds. Gently roll, roll it back down. Now, more advanced version. I'm going to straighten my legs out, lift the hips up. My body stays planked. Again, much more active. I have to stabilize through the trunk of my body, abdominals, lower back. Let it roll back down. Now, I'd like you to try that same movement to the opposite side. Let's just walk around. These types of movements, again, are geared to be flowing. We want to try to move right along from one side of the body to the other. Place the elbow on the ball. Duplicate the same movement, exhale, lift it up. Let's hold up here for about a 10 second interval. Breathe, breathe. Think of your body as long and as lean as you possibly can make it. Let's roll it down. Let's try that one more time for balance. Exhale, lift up, hold. Come on, keep smiling. I know those abs are talking, the back's talking. Good, let's let it roll back down. All right, so now you can start to see how versatile the body dome is. We're going from one side to the other side. Let's focus into the lower back just a little bit. I'm going to ask you to walk off to the back side of your body dome. And I'm going to ask you to start out by placing your hips onto the body dome. Then position yourself so you feel somewhat balanced. Legs are extended out behind you. Now, bent knee style a little easier. Straight leg position a little bit more difficult. Hands back behind the head. Let's try a basic back extension. Lift up. Slowly release back down. Exhale, lift gently release. Now don't be afraid to play around with lever lengths. For example, we have eight more repetitions. I'd like you to try to do a few with straight arms. Lift, lower back down, up, let it release. Feel the opening through the chest and shoulders. Here's four, exhale. Here's three, exhale, two, final one, let it roll back down. Now, that was a great exercise, but it really didn't incorporate too much movement for the lower half. Scoot ahead a little bit more. Let your elbows rest on the floor. Again, stay long through the neck and shoulders. Try to focus straight out in front of you. I'd like you to lift both legs up off the ground. Now, once again, if this feels too challenging for you, I would have you alternate one leg at a time. I'm gonna have you hold here for about a 10 second interval. Let's release down. Again, Tanya's gonna stay with the intermediate level. I'm going to a little bit more of an advanced level. Lift up again. Now I'm lifting arms and legs. I'm balancing on the body dome. Very challenging. Who says I can't be Superman? Let it roll back down. Just collapse over the body dome for a second. Breathe. Good, gently walk yourself back. Now, I'm gonna finish off with a couple basic movements. 
plank position. And you've been hearing me mention that word often throughout the video. Now, your basic plank position, I'm going to place elbows on the ball. Level one, I would like you to just drop your hips forward and hold in this position. Level two, I'm going to ask you to bring yourself up onto your toes. Level three, I'm going to ask you to put yourself up into a push-up position. Again, full breath in. Exhale. Roll it back down. Sit back, stretch the arms out. So hopefully you're feeling very warm now. Your body's energized. It's warming up. Good, let's release back out. Now, I'm going to do one final movement in that plank position. This can be done bent knee style or it can be done plank style. Bent knee style looks like this. We're going to start out in that nice tight body position. We will lower down, hold the position, just hovering above the ball. We're not touching it. We're pressing back up. Level two again, let's bring it up to that full push-up position. Up, take it down, hold. You're smiling, right? Exhale, push up one more time, take it down, and press back up. Let it release down. Now, a lot of these movements that we're doing again, we're just doing a couple repetitions. We're holding for 10 or 15 seconds. As you progress, make the lever lengths longer and make the time that you're doing it. Add repetitions. Walk yourself forward. Two final exercises and you're done. I'm going to ask you to start out by kneeling on your body dome. Now, for those of you who are just getting started, keep your toes on the floor. Keep the upper body nice and tall. Release down. You may feel more comfortable doing a position where we're holding like so, and we're just bending down to the side with your toes down on the floor. Toes down. Or, for those of you who want to make it a little bit more advanced, I'm going to grab onto my resistance bands, and I'm going to do the same exercise, but I'm going to be adding some resistance now. Try to focus on keeping the oblique swap open. Side to side. Now I'm going to make it a little bit more difficult. Walk myself forward. Now I'm balancing on top of the body dome, incorporating many auxiliary muscles. Pull side to side. Breathe. Let's do two more. One more. Good. Bring it back to center. Set it back down. OK, gang, let's bring it back up to a standing position. Finish off with our final exercise. Now, final exercise is one of the most common movements that we do every day, a squat position. Let's try it out. Step up onto the dome. Step up onto the dome. Hands out to your side. Slowly sit back. Just a little bit to start out with. Notice how your legs are moving around a lot. Now, for those of you finding that balance is very difficult to hold in this position, what I'd like you to do, maybe place a chair next to you or stand next to a wall so you can support yourself. Let's try again. Take it down a little lower if you feel comfortable doing so. Pause. Exhale, stand back up. Now, if you happen to step off the body dome or fall off the body dome, not a big deal. Step back up on there, keep yourself moving. Hold it down here. Exhale, press yourself back up. Good, let it release back down, step back down to the floor. I hope the body dome wor system works for you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Linda Farrell, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to Pilates on the Body Dome. Many of you may be new to Pilates. Pilates is simply a stretching and strengthening exercise regime focusing on the core musculature of the body. Those are the muscles in the stomach, the back, and the hips, the muscles that support the spine and give us good alignment. Now, Pilates is typically done on an exercise mat, and it's also done on various pieces of Pilates equipment. But what I love about the Body Dome is that we can do all these exercises on just one piece of equipment, the Body Dome. So let's get right to it. I want you to make sure your mat is like mine and that you have your Body Dome placed right at the top of the mat. You're going to sit right up on the center of the ball and right away notice the 
cords here to the side. We'll be using them throughout the workout, but feel free if they're too much for you at any point, you can do the same exercise without the resistance cords. Are you ready? Let's start. I want you to sit up tall on the ball, and already the ball makes us use our core muscles. You pull your stomach muscles in, or we say navel, to the spine, and you simply lift up, relaxing your shoulders. Now we're gonna take the cords, the longer ones, and make sure they line up on either side of the ball. Simply stretch them out and watch. We start to pump the arms, inhaling through the nose for five slow counts and exhaling out the mouth for five counts. Now I'm gonna to add to it the muscles in the legs, the hips. So what I'm doing is warming up the body, using my abdominals, using my breath. I'm preparing myself for the workout. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. We do it for a total of 10 times, if you can. And make sure you keep your spine tall, your stomach strong, and then release. Okay, you can hear I'm already a little bit winded, so that's, that's good, because we wanna be prepared and energized for the workout. Now we're gonna come down here, and we're gonna continue using our long straps and do something called leg circles. You're, I want you to lie back so that you feel your head, your neck, your shoulders supported by the body dome. And it really feels nice on the body. You pull your stomach in, again, navel to spine, and let's just bring one foot into the strap. And we're gonna bring the leg straight up, keep your stomach strong, and you're gonna simply circle the leg into the body and circle. Now while you circle your leg, I want you to keep your hips still. That left supporting leg stays still. And at all times, use your stomach muscles, relax your shoulders. So you feel your leg getting longer and stronger. Now we do about eight circles. We bend the knee, we take a little rest. And watch, we bring the leg straight up. Again, keep the stomach tight. And then we reverse the path of the circle. Now notice just my leg is moving, I keep my hips still. My shoulders are relaxed, supported by the body dome. Such a wonderful feature of the body dome. And I circle, and I concentrate on making the leg long and strong. And you feel the resistance of the cord. And then we finish, we take the cord off, so simple. Now again, if you find in the beginning that you're not ready for the weight, the resistance of the resistance cord, do the same exercise without the cord. Give me the same muscle energy, the same rhythm, and it's really fine, especially if you're a beginner. So again, navel to spine, and I'm drawing a circle right on the ceiling. Note the circle is about as wide as my shoulders. I wanna keep that shape the same. Really try to make a very precise circle and breathe. Don't forget your breathing, right? Very important. And again, the body dome here is so wonderful in supporting my head, my neck, my shoulders. I feel this in my legs and I feel this in my abdominals. I take a little break. Again, eight to 10 circles is fine. Let's reverse it now, circling outside and circle. Again, your hips must stay steady on the ball. That's really important. We want to keep the pelvis still, the shoulders relaxed, and again, those abdominals nice and strong. Inhaling and exhaling, and inhale and exhale. Now simply let the leg come down, remove the strap. So, so far, so good, right? We've warmed up the legs a little, using those important stomach muscles. Let's do something nice for the arms. We start with these little half circles. And this is such a wonderful way to open the chest. Breathing here, inhaling, and exhaling, and inhale, and exhale. Now I can take it in reverse, right? Changing the range of motion. And I feel my shoulders relaxed on the back. Again, the stomach muscles in nice and tight supporting me. Notice the movement is fluid. I'm not rushing through it. I really want to take care that I don't pull anything and that I work the shoulder girdle, the shoulder joint, correctly and safely. Ah. Oh. That felt nice. Let's just do two more now, taking the range a little bit deeper so that I open the shoulders, open the chest, 
and then I bring the arms around and that feels so nice. We do one more like that. Even feel free like me to linger here, to let your chest just open, to let your arms stretch and then bring it around. And then we reverse it, bring the arms back, melt the shoulders. Can I keep that stomach in nice and firm? And last time, bring the arms back, breathe, inhale, stretch it out, and then let your arms come forward. Okay, I don't want you to get too comfortable down there, so let's take it on top of the body dome again. And again, we become aware of our posture, right? Because that's the whole point of Pilates, improving the spine, uh, the posture. And I want you to sit here with the legs about, mat width apart, the arms parallel to the floor. The navel draws into the spine and we lift up tall. Note the shoulders are relaxed. Let the head come forward and just stretch here, letting your head come in towards the body dome. And then I slowly roll up vertebra by vertebra until my neck and head are right up on the spine. Note I keep my abdominals in. I'm not going to arch my back. My ribs stay in. My back stays very tall here. Let's try that again. Slowly come forward. Head, neck. Let your head drop. Don't let your shoulders pull out. You really want to keep them back, connected into the back body. Keep stretching and then slowly roll up one vertebra at a time, melting the shoulders. Bring the arms up, melt the shoulders down, open the arms wide. Again, make sure the ribs don't pop out. We do that one more time. Inhale, melt the shoulders, reach the fingers. This should feel good and open wide. Okay, we're gonna do one more. You can take your legs just slightly outside the mat and maybe somewhat longer so we have a slight bend at the knee. Sit up tall, you're gonna take a twist with your waist. You're gonna roll down, reach past the outside of your foot. Your head stays on the inside of the knee and then slowly roll up uncoil center. So we're using these side waistline muscles, right? They call them the obliques. We bring them into play. Twist, slowly roll down, reaching past the outside of the foot, and then slowly, fluidly roll up using the stomach, using the waistline muscles, and come back to center. We repeat one more time, a little quicker, slowly roll down, reaching past the outside of the foot, relax your shoulders, slowly roll up, Come center and twist, slowly roll down. Keep your hips steady on the ball. Try not to move your legs. We're just moving the waist, the arms, and come center. Okay, that should have felt good. And the body dome really makes that easier because it's bringing the floor up to support the movement, making it uh, less taxing on the hips. Now I wanna go back down here to that comfortable place that we were in before, and we're going to work on the abdominals. You're going to bring your knees into your chest and make sure your head, your neck, your shoulders are comfortably supported on this front edge. That's very important. We bring the left hand to the left ankle, right hand to the left knee. Draw your navel into your spine and stretch your right thigh. And now watch, we simply stretch the legs, outside hand to the ankle, and switch and switch. We're going to do about eight to 10 of these and I want you to pull your navel to your spine. So you're gonna feel this in the abs tremendously. You'll feel it in the legs. What I like is that the head, the neck, the shoulders are supported by the body dome. So you can feel this not in the shoulders, not straining, but in the, the abdominals. They're getting stronger. The legs get longer. Now bring both knees into the chest, take a little break if you need to. You can even bring your feet down, it's really fine. Bring your hands back to your ankles, inhale. Arms, legs come out, exhale, arms, legs in. Keep your stomach strong. Inhale, arms, legs out, exhale. Keep the stomach in strong. We do two more, inhale, relax those shoulders, legs long, exhale. And once again, inhale, stomach in. Exhale, just breathe here. You can let your feet come down. Just take a little break. And note, I'm gonna bring these straps into play again. We're gonna make it a little harder. And you, again, have the option of trying this exercise, perhaps without the straps, if you feel it's too much for you. Now let's get into correct position. The straps come on the inside of the knees. The navel draws to the spine. I stretch my legs out. Really have to work harder here to keep this back flat, stomach strong, and I bend the knees in. And again, I push out, press those palms in the floor, relax your shoulders, and exhale, come in. Again, inhale, navel to spine, squeeze the inner thighs. You work the inner thighs here. And in, 
And let's do just one more. Inhale, inner thigh squeeze, navel, and exhale. Let it come in. All right, so you decide if you want to try that with the straps. I always say try it, and if it's not for you, you do it without. Let's try another one called leg circle. You open the legs hip width, lower a tiny bit, pull your stomach and bring the legs together, bring them up. Now try to make smooth circles here. I know sometimes I can make this look a little easy because I've been doing Pilates for a number of years, but there is a challenge here in keeping the straps even and making a nice fluid circle. You want to work the legs evenly, keeping the navel to your spine, your shoulders relaxed. Now let's draw three more, reversing the pattern. Note I'm not bringing the legs terribly low. I'm more interested that you use your abdominals right about here is fine. Open, bring the legs up, and together. We do one more. If you bring your legs too low, what happens is you start to strain the back, becomes too much for the abdominals, and that's not good. We want to get stronger. We don't want to strain the body. Okay, good abdominal work here. Let's continue now. We spent a fair amount of time on the front of the body. I'd like to take it now to the back body. The only adjustment you need to make is to make sure that now your short straps line up across from each other because we'll be using them for some of the exercises. So I, what I want you to do is come onto the ball, make sure that your shoulders come forward of the front edge. And you're going to take the straps. I'm going to show the first one with the straps. Okay, note this is hard. I want you to bring your shoulder blades together and down so that the shoulders aren't here, but that they're here. And slowly stretch your arms out onto the floor, reaching as far as you can. Then lift your head, your neck, your chest. Draw your shoulder blades together. You want to feel your shoulders relaxing down the back as you reach towards the sides of the room. And then slowly release the straps and come down. Now we're going to try that again. This is difficult, so I will show it without the straps. And I feel free to try it this way at home. Inhale, again, lift the head, the neck, melt the shoulders. You want to reach for the sides of the room. You want to stretch your body. Feel your stomach muscles working here, supporting the lower back. And then slowly come down. Okay, let's go a, a step further now. We're going to do the same kind of action, but this time we're going to bring the hands onto these little knobs at the top of the strap, and we're just going to change the direction of the arms. So watch here, shoulders relax down the back. I pull the straps back first as far as I can go, and then I pick up the head, the neck, again opening the chest, reaching the arms straight back. And I draw my shoulder blades down and together, and then I slowly, slowly release the straps. And even let yourself, you know, just relax over the ball between the repetitions because the body dome is always supporting you, protecting your spine. So take advantage of its support. We do one more head neck lifts. Open the chest, draw the shoulder blades together. Notice a little easier without the straps. And then gently fold over the dome. All right, so we did a little for the back. We've got a little bit for everything now. Let's just turn the body dome so that now we're working again with our long straps. And simply bring yourself to the side, and we bring the leg in the strap. We're going to do some leg work, bringing the leg forward and back, keeping the hips steady, the stomach muscles in. Again, my shoulders are completely relaxed. If you want, even bring your head onto the body dome. So we want you to feel comfortable during the workout. And at the same time, you're going to feel the muscles of the legs getting longer and stronger. We're going to do about eight to ten of these. Again, keep your leg parallel to the floor, bringing it forward and back, forward and back. Keep the stomach strong, keep your ribs in. Now, we change it, take a little break. You're going to need to let the leg relax, stretch the leg out, point the leg all the way up, lengthen, lengthen, bring the leg down. And again, point up, 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 and then lengthen, lengthen down. So the toes again are in a soft point and come down. You can even flex a foot, changing the reach so that you get a little more through the stretch through the back hamstring. And down, and reach, and down, and reach, and down. And lengthen, lengthen, and come down. All right. So let's just stretch out a little bit here, a little side stretch because we're in such a great place to do it. The body just molds to the shape of the body dome. And let's take that now to the other side. I want to do the same thing with the legs on the other side. So let's just simply turn the body, get the other leg strap, 
We just simply put the foot in the strap, get your body comfortable on the ball so the whole side is supported. The bottom leg again, just simply bent underneath you. And watch, we bring the leg forward and we stretch the leg back. And it's forward and back without moving the hip, keeping the abdominal strong. You want to keep your ribs in so that the body stays stable as the leg moves. A very important Pilates principle. Inhaling and exhaling can keep the action of the leg smooth. So we develop long, lean Pilates muscles. And we take it one more time, front and back. So then always about eight to 10 repetitions in Pilates. It less is more because we're more interested in the quality of the movement. Let's take the leg up in a soft point and exhale, bring the leg down. Keep your navel and reach the leg out. You're gonna really feel this here on the outer thigh. And again, point up, up, up and down and reach and down. Now flex the foot so you're gonna feel more of a reach through the back thigh or hamstring and lengthen and reach. Again, relax the shoulders. If you need to put your head down, that's fine. Make yourself comfortable, but do use your abdominals. Do use those legs. The upper body relax with the body dome. Two more, stretch. Whew. Yeah, it's a workout. And then let's release. We do the nice little stretch because again, we're in such a great place to do it. It's called the mermaid. Just let your body mold to the shape of the dome, a nice side stretch. And that's gonna take us to the very final exercise, one of the most challenging. We call it the teaser. So we're gonna start this last exercise, the teaser, from an upright position. I think it's a great way to learn how to do the teaser, and the body dome really helps support us here, making it so simple. So watch here, the shoulders relax, the arms reaching forward. You're gonna slowly tuck the chin, pull the navel in, roll down vertebra by vertebra, just a few to about there, and then scoop in and come up. And again, tuck the chin, relax the shoulders, roll down, Pull the stomach and you feel each of the vertebrae coming down, not too far, this is fine. And then slowly come up. I'm gonna take it a little bit further, right? Feel free if you're a little more advanced to come all the way here. Maybe the arms go here and watch. I bring my arms up, my head up, stomach in, and I slowly come back up. And let's just reach the arms, melt the shoulders. And look here, you get a little dessert. Just stretch over your legs. It feels really nice. Just let your body mold to the shape of the body dome. And as we wind down here from our nice, quick Pilates workout, we're gonna come down and we're just gonna simply breathe here. And I want you just to let the legs open, to let the hips just release, let the palms turn up and just inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. Just let your body take in the benefits of the workout, soaking it up in a nice rest position to close our workout. Thank you so much for joining me with Pilates on the Body Dome. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you continue to practice with me. Thank you. Hi, I'm Linda Farrell, and I want to welcome you to Yoga on the Body Dome. Many of you may be very familiar with yoga and its various benefits in reducing stress, in improving strength and flexibility, but I think a lot of you may be intimidated by yoga and its often pretzel-like positions. So with Body Dome, these positions become so much easier, so much simpler. So why don't we start? All you need is a simple yoga mat, and you have your body dome placed at the top of the mat, okay? And we start our yoga workout. Now, I want you just to sit back so that your hips press back to your heels and watch. We're gonna simply bring the arms over the surface of the body dome and just melt down. Now, right away, you're gonna feel these little mini domes on top of the ball creating a massage-like effect on the body. And just breathe here, we're trying to relax trying to prepare ourselves for the workout. So watch, we inhale, you pick up the head, the chest a little, 
And then exhale, let yourself melt down. And again, inhale, pick up the head, the neck. Opening the chest, let the shoulders melt down. Not here, here. And exhale, come down. Now we add a little movement. We pick up the head, the neck. This time, we bring the hips right over the knees. We arch the back, bringing the shoulder blades together. Now tuck the chin round and simply press back your hips. We do that again. Pick up the head. The hips come right over the knees. Inhale, open the chest, stretch the front of the neck, melt your shoulders down, tuck the chin, the navel, the ribs pull in, and we press back. It feels so nice on the body, a nice way to prepare for the workout. And we keep adding progressively more movement. We bring the hips now forward onto the ball, and we come letting the body mold to the shape. Bring your hands a little forward now, make sure they're at the edge, and we press up into a very tiny cobra position. You'll feel this in the back, the shoulders again relaxed. And then from here, pull your stomach in, lift up, and press your hips all the way back. Now we do that again, bringing the body up, bringing the hips forward. So we repeat the movement so that you learn them and that we get a sort of flow, come back into that cobra, so that we're warming up the body as we get progressively deeper into the workout. Some of the poses will become more challenging. So stay with this nice fluid movement, nice active breath. Again, shoulders down, stomach muscles strong and press back. Take a couple of breaths here. Again, just let the armpits press to the floor. Feel the length of your arms as your palms press into the surface of the body dome. Now from here, we're going to pick the head, the neck up. Watch, we're gonna take it a step further. Bring one foot up, the other foot, and we're gonna press back into what we call a classic downward dog position. I'd like you to keep your heels on the floor when you use a body dome. I think this is a nice way to feel and experience the downward dog. The heels are in the floor. The palms press into the front of the ball. Push back with your legs. Press forward with your arms. Let your head hang. You want to keep your ribs in, your stomach muscles pulled in strong. Your hips, the bottom of the buttocks, reach up towards the ceiling. Now watch again. We pick up the head. Following with that same pattern, we move forward, but we place the knees down, release the toes, bring your chest, your chin forward, and look, we come right back into that cobra. And then we're going to press back, breathe, and one more time, step back to downward dog, heels back, head hangs. Make sure your heels are firm, your palms pressing forward, stomach muscles strong, pick up the head. Bring the body slightly through, lower the knees, release the toes. Bring the body forward, chest and chin fold over the ball. Come up into a small cobra, shoulder blades together. And again, press back and breathe here, inhaling and exhaling. Let's step back up to downward dog. So it's fluid, but we do keep moving, right? I want you to stay warm and engaged in your workout. Now take a couple of breaths here, and then you're going to simply lift the head and bring your right foot right into the center of the ball. So we make sure the foot is centered, the hands on either side of the foot. Now let's take a look at the alignment of the legs. This front heel must line up with the middle part of your back instep. Once we've established that, come up onto your fingertips. Make sure your right hip is back, your left hip is forward, and watch, we come to our first standing position. Okay, so bringing our body weight up and off the ball. Take a breath here, relax your shoulders. Bring your hands to your hips. Now watch, we change the position. We turn the hips, we turn the torso, but note the legs have stayed the same. And then we turn back to center. Now we add a little bit. Let's bring the arms out. Make sure your stomach's strong here, those ribs in, straight spine. And turn the hips, exhaling and then come back to center. Third time, perhaps this is the most advanced, we bring the arms up. If you don't feel comfortable, keep your arms here or to the hips. Arms up, inhale, exhale, open. Again, keep the legs solid. We're turning the ribs, we're turning the waist. 
and then come back to center. Now watch, we bring the arms to the side, slowly bring the hands down, watch you step right back to downward dog, take a breath here, press your hips back if you're tired, come right here, take a little rest. Otherwise, stay with me. You're in your downward dog position. And what we do to the right side, we must do to the left. You bring your left foot in. Again, first thing is your foot in the center of the ball is your knee over your ankle bone. Heel to midstep must line up. We come up on the fingertips. Don't be in a rush here. Move slowly so you can find your balance and establish your center. Left hip back, right hip forward. The ribs are in. The tailbone drops down. I feel my spine reaching up against the strength of my legs, pushing into the floor. Hands to hips, exhale, open the hips, open the torso, shoulders relaxed and even, and then turn back to center. Note, the legs are the same. They're working here, arms out to the side. Now I spin open to the right. Now note, don't let your leg do this. The body dome will help center you, stabilize you on the ball, right? If you're not working correctly, your leg will start to move. So the body dome almost ensures that we're going to work correctly. So when you find that still place, you know you're working right. Now one more time, arms up, open the hips, open the torso, relax those shoulders, keep this strong, keep breathing, keep focusing and then slowly come back to center, hands to the side, bring your hands carefully down, use the abdominals, step back, hips back, head hangs, and we come to that nice yoga flow, again, always keeping the body warm. We lower the chest, the chin, we pull up into a lovely cobra. Look, we can even add the stretch of the legs here, making it still more advanced. And watch, we're gonna press back. This time, step right up into downward dog. Go for it immediately. Pressing the hips back. Take a breath here, let your head hang. Let your sits bones, the bottom of the buttocks, reach back and up. So you're really stretching your spine out. Let's try one more move here. We bring the right foot forward. This time we stay down. Turn out the back foot so that the toes are facing forward. Again, heel lines up with the mid instep and we bring the hand to the outside of the foot. Bring your left hand to your hips. Spin the left waist open spin the left chest open. You want to drop your right buttocks underneath you. You want to let that left hip move back. Hand stays to the hip and breathe. Inhaling and exhaling. Don't hang here. You want to make sure you're not crashing your weight down on the body dome. You want to keep your legs, your body strong. If you wish, you can bring your arm up, not your shoulder. The shoulders relax. You can gaze up at your thumb, right eye to left thumb perhaps. Not for everybody, so you can always keep your focus straight ahead. Now watch, I move my hand back, I move the hips back. I open the chest, again, letting the left hip move back, the right hip under, and I can bring that arm up. That would be the most advanced version. Try to keep the sides of the body long here, especially this bottom side. The front ribs relaxed, hand comes back to the hip, face the ball, let's step right leg back, Hips back, take a breath. Let's go right to the left side. Bring the leg forward, turn out your back foot. Knee over ankle bone, heel in line with the mid instep. Make sure the toes are slightly forward. Spin open the chest. Breathing here again, try to get the sides of the body long. Don't crash your weight down onto the ball. You playfully use your fingers lightly. Perhaps we bring the arm up, shoulder relaxed. Breathing here, keep the legs strong, keep your focus, your breath, hand to the hip, watch, move the hips straight back, the right hip moves back, the left hip is dropping under, hand to hip, fingers come forward on the ball, and again, I'm spinning open the right chest, letting the left ribs come underneath the right, the sides of the body are long, and I'm breathing here, strengthening, I stretch my right arm up, perhaps the left eye gazes at the right thumb. Keep your legs strong, keep your focus. Stay with me, it's not easy. Hand to hips, slowly turn, slowly bend the front knee, bring your left leg back to meet your right. Hips back, head hangs. Pick up the head, let's bring the knees down, let's bring the body on the dome, lower chest, chin, come up into a cobra. Perhaps we lift the hands. So we always challenge ourselves, bring the hands back to the ball, 
and let's press back and breathe. Now let's come walking in here. Let's do some stretches. We're right in a great position to do a forward bend. Inhale, lift up, open the chest. Exhale, round, let your head come into the ball. Forward bend is so much easier here because we have the ball to support us. Many people can't bring their hands to reach their toes. So we sort of bring the floor up to you. One more time, pick up the head, open the chest. Exhale round. Don't let your knees snap back. Keep the knees over the ankles. The sits bones reach up. You can put a slight bend at the knee so you don't strain your back or your hamstrings. Just breathe. Inhale one more time. And exhale. Very nice. Now we're just going to step the right leg back. We do a quick quad stretch to release the front of the hip, the thigh. Make sure that your left foot is on the center of the ball. You want to bring your left hip back, your right hip forward. Now again, we feel this wonderful stretch, but I don't want you to collapse into it. I want you to lift your navel. I want you to drop your tailbone down and let your pelvis move forward towards the ball. Again, keep breathing. Keep lifting up through the front body, using those abdominals. And you're going to feel this wonderful release through the front thigh and hip, an important muscle called the psoas. It gets so tight on us. Now, if you wish, you can bring your hands up to your knee and watch. We just add a little upward movement that just intensifies, deepens the stretch. Not for everyone, perhaps. So you may keep the hands here, okay? Now let's just take it back, step back. Again, press the hips back to release. And we take it to the other side. The right foot comes forward. Again, make sure that you're on the center of the ball and that the knee is over the ankle bone. Come up on the fingertips. Are your hips squared off or are you twisted? You want your right hip back, the knee right over the ankle. Inhale. Melt the shoulders, lift up. Let the tailbone, the bottom of the spine, drops. The navel lifts in and up. And I breathe here. And let me tell you, this feels so wonderful. The closer I can bring my pelvis towards the body dome, the more I feel the stretch in that front left hip. Breathe. Again, perhaps we try a little balancing action. Maybe the arms come up. Breathe here, stay with me. If it's not for you, keep the hands here. Bring the hands back to the body dome and simply press back. Oh, it feels so nice. I love this part of the workout because we get to stretch out now. Note, we heated the body, we took it through some challenging poses, and now it's time to stretch. So let's continue here on the back. And this is a really one of my favorite exercises. It's the bridge, and you feel the body dome supporting the head, the neck, the shoulders, the stomach muscles are in. And you're just going to let your arms rest to the floor and watch, leading with the hips, press those hips up. Now you want to pull your stomach muscles in here, press your hips up, ground the four corners of the feet into the floor. Make your legs strong. I shouldn't see this happening. No movement. Strong, solid legs. Breathe. Keep stretching up. And note the support you get with the body dome. Okay, that whole upper body is supported by the comfort of the body dome. You can even bring yourself up a little more. Watch, we get a little bit more of the back onto the body dome taking the head, the neck, a little back further. Make sure this is comfortable for you. Note this might not be for everybody. Lift the hips up, open the chest, stomach in, strong legs. Again, press those feet into the floor. Breathe here. Inhaling, exhale. How high can you lift your hips? Don't forget your abdominals. Let your shoulders melt onto the body dome. But even here, feel your shoulder blades drawing together so that the back is still working. Okay, we don't want to always just rely on the support of the body dome. It's there to help us, but we must work too. Now take a breath. Just let your legs stretch out. Bring your arms back. Oh, it feels so wonderful. Now after any kind of back bending, we always want to do an opposite bend, something called a forward bend. Watch how easy this becomes with the body dome. So you sit upright. I want you to bring your hips to this back edge. It's going to be very helpful. Let your legs lengthen out. Inhale. Exhale, flat back over the legs. Let your body just melt down. Don't tense up, relax your shoulders. Breathe. Now for those who are a little more flexible, watch you flex your feet, let your toes point up and you're gonna breathe. Basically holding this stretch for like 10 slow breaths. Inhaling and exhaling, inhaling and exhaling. So if you can hold that for about 10 seconds, right? Or um, slow rhythmic breaths, whichever works best for you. 
and do it so that you don't feel a strain. You can lift your head, your neck, inhale, come up on your fingertips. And then again, exhale, fold into it. That's a really nice way to establish a little bit more length, a little bit more stretch. Breathing. And then slowly work your way up. So yeah, the stretches, we want to breathe into them. We want to hold them, but we don't want them to be static. We want them to be alive with our stretch, our breath. And we're going to come here now sitting on top of the ball. I want you to uh, let your knees come towards the floor. Lift your navel in and up, melt your shoulders. So you can see I'm not slouching here. This again is very much a postural exercise. Shoulders relaxed, ribs in, abs firm. Bring your hands behind the lower back, fingers point up, inhale. Lift up, open the chest. Breathe here, get as tall as you can, press your knees to the floor. Keep breathing, keep opening that chest, and then exhale, round forward. Press your palms forward, pull your navel in, let your head drop, and then come back centered on the ball. Let's try that again. This time, perhaps you bring your hands on the ball. You'll get a little more stretch here. Lift up, press your knees down, open your chest. Lift your chin, but feel your shoulders melting down. So I shouldn't see this. I want to see a long neck. I want to see an open chest, strong abdominals. Keep your ribs in. Don't splay your back out. Tall spine. One more breath here. And then exhale. Watch. We're just going to come forward here, just round. Child's pose. Again, one of the most favorite yoga positions. Feels so nice on the body. And we just take a nice few breaths here. And then work your way back up. We're almost done. We have a couple of more stretches. Let's bring the legs the other way now, crossing the legs in front of the ball. Heels crossed, lift up strong here. We bring the right arm over to the side. The left arm reaches out and up and take it into a nice side stretch. Melt the left shoulder. Don't pull it out of the joint. Keep the shoulder relaxed, the spine tall. Come back through center, bring the arm down. Bring the right arm out. Inhale up and over. Melt the shoulders. Breathe and lift. Keep the spine tall. Even here, I'm using my stomach muscles. I'm using my back muscles. I'm very aware of my posture. I'm very aware of my breath, my breathing. Bring the arms out. Now we try a simple spinal twist. Inhale, lift and twist to the right. Now watch, we're going to close the twist. The left hand is on the right knee. The right hand comes right behind you on the ball. And keep spinning open the waist, the ribs. Your hips stay on the mat, but we're in a twist. Remove the back arm, the front arm. Uncoil, come center. Last time, lift and twist. Bring the hand to the knee, the hand behind you, opening the chest. Shoulders relaxed. Breathing here, release the hands, uncoil, come center. All right, let's wrap it up now. Let's come back onto the floor here. Let's bring the legs over the ball. Let's slowly roll down, bring the knees up, bring them over to the right, little spinal twist, turn the head to the left. Let the knees be one above the other. Let the shoulders be broad on the floor. And then come back to center, walk the feet over, bring the knees over to the left, stack the knees, but you want to feel your shoulders broad, relaxed on the floor, turn the head to the right, and just breathe. We're releasing the back, the hips here in a simple, final spinal twist. And then breathe, come back to center, stretch the right leg, the left leg, open the legs, and we come to final rest pose. And just breathe here. And take a few moments for yourself, just concentrating solely on the rhythm of your own breath. Well, I hope you enjoyed your yoga workout on the Body Dome, and I hope you continue to practice yoga with me. Thank you so much.